we will be remembering the people who are on the stone behind us. Etched in stone are reminders of how dangerous the job can be. To recognize the work that men and women do on the front lines. Sergeant Timothy Mossbrucker. At a yearly memorial, Jefferson County's Republican Sheriff Jeff Schrader honors the deputies who have been killed and hopes another name is not added to the list. I think we owe it to them to do the very best that we can to make sure that we have the resources whether it's training, whether it's equipment, whether it's the ability to put people in jail appropriately that are harming our citizens. To keep his deputies and the community safe, he wants to fully reopen the jail. A portion was closed because of budget cuts in 2020, which meant fewer people were kept behind bars. Lack of availability of jail space, the pandemic, which dropped the jail uh, capacity. We had to impose uh, booking restrictions because of social distancing that had to go on inside of county jails. He thinks it's contributed to an increase in crime in Jefferson County. Sheriff Schrader says he got a few million dollars from the federal government to reopen that part of the jail, but he couldn't spend it because recruiting people to staff it hasn't been going well. We've had a number of people retire and at the same time because of some of those things going on, in particular that national dialogue, we haven't had as many people apply to be in law enforcement. Those challenges are creating a lot of vacancies. Dozens of positions not as many qualified people want to fill. So for now, that portion of the jail will remain closed. Sheriff Schrader is asking county commissioners if he can use that money at a future date because he couldn't use it back in 2021. But according to him, some county staff are not supporting that request and they would like to see the money used elsewhere. But it's really up to county commissioners. And one of them tells me that public safety is a top priority and Kyle, any final decisions won't be made for some time. Kelly Rinky reporting. Thank you, Kelly.